Welcome to this week's edition of Learning Creative Learning. As you can see, we're missing our uh, third peer. Today, the theme is peers, and we're missing one. Uh, Mitch is in Denmark, um, but he will magically reappear in some of the videos that we'll be watching. Um, uh, we wanted to quickly talk about the activity from last week. Yeah, we were then... really... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> we were excited to see the range of different kinds of creative learning spaces in communities around the world, some temporary and some more long-term spaces. And for me, I really liked when there was a combination of things because, to, for example, Sasan in Iran posting the robotic design studio slash learning lab. So Shall this we? is, yeah, this is an example of one of the robots ah, that there you are. reminded me a little bit of Randy, the LCL chameleon. Um, but I thought it could be interesting if you came to a space to learn language, but then you might get interested in robotics or the other way around. And that's something I like about maker fairs in general or maker spaces when they have a whole range of activities so that it seems like a broader range of people mm -hmm. might get engaged and then learn from each other. Yeah, I think that's important, right? That like the spaces all have very different characters and there are questions about how inclusive are they? How do you design them? What title do you give them? How does that change the vibe? And I found sometimes seeing pictures or finding a video about a space was really useful to better imagine what the what the space and what the community felt like. Yeah. So, well, there's more we could say, but I know we... There's a lot more in the discussion <laughs> forum. And we I know, we were again printing out like, oh, what about that I encourage one? you to look there. Um, today, we're going to have, a, a, again, a series of videos. Uh, we will have Natalie, Mitch, and I talk a little bit about our kind of questions and thoughts on peer learning. We'll hear from Kristen Swanson about EdCamps and peer learning among educators, which I think is particularly relevant in the theme of reimagining education. And then we'll hear from some of the early day peer-to-peer -peer university pioneers about how they started putting courses together and, and what the, that learning felt like. And we hope you'll have a great time and we look forward to the discussions in the back channel.